downshift and the heel toe. The difference is a downshift is basically uh, you're just going down a gear and you're going to rev match so that you can do that smoothly. Uh, you may be decreasing speed a little bit or just rolling, uh, but it's something you can do. Let's say you're cruising down the straight and you're not full throttle, not at a high RPM and you want to downshift, uh, you're just going to downshift, rev match and pull forward. Now the heel toe, you're combining the downshift with the rev match uh, while you're braking. And so that one is super nice uh, for drifting if you're coming around a corner and you need to downshift a gear and you're, you're hitting the brakes a little bit, but you're also braking at the same time and hitting that throttle. So we're gonna run you through uh, both those techniques and then show you how they're done. So one last thing before we get started, uh, make sure you can drive stick do it somewhat efficiently. As far as driving stick goes, these are like the more advanced techniques. So uh, make sure you can drive a stick well before you try these things. Let's get started. So this is something I actually learned. Um, I did a little bit of racing school before I got into drifting. And this is something I learned there is just basically practicing your rev matching as well as your heel toe in a stationary position. You could even do it with the car off, you just kind of get a feel for it. So this is obviously super basic, but with the car off, you can just kind of practice that get that throttle feel. If you haven't done downshifting or heel toes before, somewhat new stick driver or new to racing, you honestly probably haven't paid attention to how much throttle pressure you're giving it. Do some light ones, do some big ones. It's honestly probably way less input than you thought it was. I know when I first started, imagine myself, you know, smashing throttle to the ground, but that's like totally unnecessary. And that's just how you break stuff. <laughs> Practice kind of those smooth, light inputs. And then, once you kind of have a good handle on that, flip the car on and uh, just try them sitting still. This may seem kind of silly, uh, but it honestly helps so much and it'll stop you from having problems when you get going. You can really learn a lot just sitting with the car stationary. Before I do a couple, what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of watching my tack and seeing what my input does, kind of what, what impact my input has. And so, you want to do that, do small ones, medium ones, heavy ones, and just a variation of inputs. So you can start to get a feel for what the impact is on the speed of the motor. So if you guys notice at the end, I was doing some kind of throttle and holding. Another technique that's really good to practice, and that's not as necessary for downshifting because those are really gonna be some more of just a, a tap, but sitting and actually like pressing down, you know, swiftly to a range and then holding it there and trying to keep that smooth is gonna help you get better throttle control and kind of learn that without having to go to the track or do anything like that. I mean, you can do this, not in your garage because that's super dangerous, but you could go to a parking lot or something. I don't know. So we're not gonna annoy people. It's not dangerous, right? You're just revving your motor a little bit. So um, that's really good practice for that anyways. After you feel like you have kind of the blips down, you know kind of what impact, you know, that um, then you can go try the downshift IRL in real life. So that's pretty much your downshift. So basically what you're doing, you're getting into that 
that upper gear, right? So for me, first gear is blown out on this thing. So I was sitting in, I'd basically updrift into third gear, depress the clutch, bump that throttle, and then put it in second gear and come out with the clutch. You can kind of do it in different orders. Somebody somebody tell me in the comments if there is a specific order they say, but I've tried like both orders and it doesn't seem to matter. But basically what I'm talking about is where, when, at what point you put it into gear. But, so you're in third gear, uh, you're throttling, 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 clutch in, second, throttle up, let the clutch out. But you can also do, uh, your third gear, throttle in, throttle, throttle in, clutch in, put it in third gear, then rev up. Sorry. <laughs> is that the same? Yeah. So the other way to do it is you're throttle and throttle in, third gear, uh, you clutch in, rev, then put it into gear, and then let out. So basically, what's going on in the car, our first gear is blown out, so we're going up into third and then downshifting into second. We're upshifting into third, we're just kind of cruising along, throttling, uh, where then we're basically gonna put the clutch in, downshift into second, blip that throttle, and then come out. And what you're gonna notice is as you adjust the blip of the throttle, so right, you can do it, you can do it real slow, or you can do it really fast too. And that's gonna change how much blip you need as well as kind of how smooth it is and where it catches. That's something to also play with. You're not always necessarily trying to do it as fast as possible. Um, I mean, most of the time, I guess you are. And that's actually a great way to practice is just doing it daily driving. It's not anything dangerous because you're just downshifting. So with heel toe, we are doing downshift while braking. Coming around a corner and maybe you're, maybe you're tandeming, maybe you're following somebody. So basically the heel toe is, it's actually backwards. It's toe and then heel, but yeah. Because you, you need to brake, you need to clutch, and you need to gas all at the same time, you're gonna use this, this little guy, your right foot, um, to do brake and gas. And then you're blipping the throttle, so doing that same rev match throttle blip as you were doing with the downshift, you're now doing this while you're braking, and that's, that's the heel toe. This is really weird, and when you first do it, you're gonna be like, doing a bunch of throttle, like everybody does it. I did it forever. Great to practice going into a stoplight or something like that. Do it without cars behind you though, in case you do slam on the brakes. Cause you'll either, that's what's gonna happen. So you're either gonna have way too much throttle or way too much brake input. Cause we're not, you know, it's just all, all different like that. So if you watch having my brake here and I'm throttling and doing them both, right? So my brake is consistent and I'm just able to pivot that over and throttle. So after you feel like you have a good you know, hold on how to do it with the car off. Try it with the car on. Watch your brake pedal and make sure you're holding it at a consistent level. Uh, that's the biggest thing is a lot of people will let off the brakes or hit the brakes harder when they're trying to also do that throttle blimp. Get that down and then you can kind of mold it and figure it out for you as you go forward. So now, Time to go try them. So just like the downshift, the heel toe changes at the rate you're going essentially. So if you're braking harder, faster downshift, lighter rev match. If you're braking slower, where the revs can drop longer. So that's again, just something to practice different rates of braking, figuring out kind of what works for you. And just so you guys know, they call it rev matching. You're not really like saying, okay, I gotta be at 4,000 RPM, so I'm gonna blip it to 4,000. You definitely wanna make sure you're past that RPM point, but you can go 500, even 1,000 too far, and it's still gonna sound good, and the motor's gonna get slowed down when it starts engaging with the drivetrain. It's a fly in my, trying to go in my mouth. <laughs> Alrighty guys, well that's pretty much it. Uh, just go practice those downshifts and those heel toes. It's gonna be an absolute, like, important technique. I can't think of the word. Um, pivotal. That's a very pivotal technique for drifting, racing, uh, really any of the motorsports. Just go practice them, get them down, and then uh, come back here, check out our other how-to drift videos.